Hey Wildcats, I'm Ava and these are your daily announcements. The district requires all students to have the district provided case on their computers. Stickers should not be stuck on the laptop or case. Students may receive a $50 fine. If your case is broken or you need help, please stop by the help desk. Hi Wildcats, it's me, your principal, Ms. McNair. I wanted to share an important update about a new state law that will take effect in January. This law prohibits students from using personal communication devices during the school day. Our school board has recently approved this policy for all Lexington One School District students. So what does this mean for you? Starting in January, you will not be able to access any personal electronic devices or accessories such as cell phones, smartwatches, tablets, gaming devices, earbuds, or headphones. This applies during class time, between classes, during lunch, and in areas like locker rooms and bathrooms. So basically, from the 840 bell in the morning to the 345 bell in the afternoon, students should not access these devices or accessories, and they should be powered down. So why is this change happening? Free to Focus SC is a South Carolina Department of Education initiative to create a distraction-free learning environment. Research shows that excessive screen time can negatively impact mental health, leading to increased anxiety and depression. There will be a few exceptions to this policy, but that's primarily for medical reasons. So, consequences. Teachers and administrators will enforce consequences for students whose devices or accessories are visible or heard, and I'll be sending information to you and your parents later regarding that list of consequences um, for the items I've mentioned. So let's work together. I understand that this change may take some adjustment. Several of you have already reached out with questions and I or any other administrator will always do our best to answer your questions. As winter break gets closer, work hard for your exams and make good choices. When we return in January, we'll face this challenge together and hopefully continue to build a positive learning environment for all Wildcats. Thanks for your understanding and cooperation. NHS is having its annual toy drive for kids in our feeder elementary school. Bring in any toy, book, stuffed animal, etc. to D113 to participate. NHS students can receive service hours. If you're interested in playing girls soccer, check your email for more information on preseason practices. Final exams will start next Wednesday. Second and fourth block exams will be Wednesday, first and third on Thursday, and Friday will be a half day for makeup exams. On Sunday night, the New York Mets changed the baseball market forever by signing superstar outfielder Juan Soto to a lucrative 15-year, $765 million contract. This contract is the biggest contract ever given in sports history, topping Dodgers megastar Shohei Otani's 10-year, $700 million contract signed in 2023. Soto had one of the best contract years ever in MLB history, hitting 41 home runs and 109 RBIs, and having an amazing postseason. There are not many times like a player like Juan Soto hits the open market, so when they do, they usually change the free agent market forever. Soto will join Francisco Lindor and company in Queens, helping in pursuit of ending the 38-year World Series job for the Mets. Next week is the start of Spirit Week. The themes are Christmas Vacation, Ugly Sweater, Character from a Movie, Iconic Duo, and Pajama Day. The student body suggested all themes. The student body will vote on the most spirited, and the winner each day will get a free snack and drink from the den. This year's prom will be April 5th from 7 to 11 p.m. Sears will be offered on December 9th through 12th and the 16th through 18th from 3.45 to 5.45 p.m. in the Little Theater. Each session costs $25. Who is the 35th president of the United States? 35th? Can you give me a decade? I'm in a century? Um, I, I go to the 60s. The 60s? Yeah. Kennedy? Yes. Yeah. I'm here with Cole Stewart. Who was the 39th president of the United States? I would like to say Gerald Ford. It's Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. I was one all. <laughs> Who is the 22nd president of the United States? Uh, is there like a year or something? 1820s? Uh, Lincoln? I don't know. No. Oh no. No, it was Grover, uh, Grover Cleveland. Here with? Curtis Stearns. Who was the fourth president of the United States? 
No clue. All right. I'm here with Royce. All right. Who was the fifth president of the United States? Uh, I know John Adams was the second president, but I don't know nothing about the fifth. It was uh, James Monroe. Never heard of him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Here with Alex Walker. Who is the 43rd president of the United States? Uh, Obama? It's George W. Bush. Who is the first president of the United States? George Bush! <laughs> The Fall Dance Showcase will be on Wednesday at 7 in the Low Pack. There will be a mandatory track and field meeting this Sunday, the 15th, at 7 in the Little Theater. If you need help in math, there will be free math tutoring in room F215 after school tomorrow from 4 to 5. The LHS Art Show is Thursday from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the Low Pack Lobby. Reminder about recycling. No bottles or cups can be put in the recycling that have beverages in them. They also cannot take any sort of food wrapper or paper towel. That's all for today. Have a great day, Wildcats.